Here we are with my 118th model, number 118. And after six years of trying to figure out a way to get the sun and moon to sync up in real time, I actually got the sun to work before using a 24 hour timer. But getting the moon gearing right has been a challenge. And a couple of weeks ago, I finally figured it out. And it's pretty close. You may have to adjust it every few months, a couple of degrees, because it's just really hard to get it absolutely perfect, but it's real close. The, uh, the dome turns independently. There's actually three motors in this model, and the, the dome has its own uh, switch to turn it on, and it rotates slowly. Uh, it takes, a, I don't know, a couple minutes to do a rotation. And it's not in real time because you'd never see it moving. Um, since the sun and moon aren't moving, <laughs> you might as well have. And it looks cool because it casts shadows around the room at night. And it's very interesting from the stars. The stars were drilled in here with my CNC with a real tiny drill bit. And they glow much better than when I laser etch. And f for educational purposes, there's no... I mean, it's hard to tell which stars are which because there's no labels and line groupings. But if you know your stars real well, you can figure out, it's kind of fun to figure out where the Big Dipper is and other star constellations that, if you're familiar with the stars at all. The unique thing about this model as well is the 24-hour the ring clock. And it has 12 lights that jump ahead every hour. And in the center of the 12 lights is a white one that represents the sun, and it stays in sync with the sun all the time. And there's a way to adjust the sun and moon. And these lights, when you get it and plug it in, you want to set it all and leave it plugged in all the time. The uh, sun and moon have these really cool touch dimmers that I found. And they, uh, you, hold, you touch them fast, and they slow fade in and out. And um, if the sun and moon, or you, you know, turn them off, or when you turn them on, they'll come back to where you set them at. But each time you plug it in, well, it's going to stay plugged in all the time. But you can, you can adjust them. That's as bright as it goes, and then it goes down to, you know, barely glowing. It just depends on how you want to set it. You get to play with it. It's kind of fun to interact with the, with the represent, representation of our world. So the. Um, yeah, so the other 12 lights, there's a there's an amber, a pink one right here that represents the sun, I believe the sun set, and the amber one represents the sunrise as they come around here. So this shows half of the daylight area on the flat earth. The um, rosewood frame, well, the best thing to do is turn the lights on. So you can really see the the frame now back up the camera a little bit um, it's it's a really beautiful rosewood that I found that comes from Bolivia and is like 10 coats of lacquer on here and it's got a matte lacquer finish which I like the best it just it's easier to keep than a, the glossy finish and let's see that also has the uh, a bottom light under here which you I can turn up and turn the lights back off again. See, and I think I don't know it's showing up green. And I have it on as bright as it goes, and you can turn it off or set the color you want. It has all the colors, and then dim it like you'd like. And what else is there about this model that uh, I forgot? To... Oh, the map was got a hand painted ocean and a hand painted uh, glass snow that I developed. For doing the ice wall in the the, uh, the North Pole area, there's so many things to talk about on this. I, I keep forgetting when I do a video, and I keep redoing takes to add things to it. But uh, this one is really cool. Uh, I, I can't say enough about it. And uh, it other than it's the best one I've done besides the coffee table, where I have the sun and moon up here projecting the light down inside. There's no arbor down in the middle of the of the coffee table model as you well if you know if you're familiar with that so this one I'll have uh, I've got it listed on flatearthmodels.com check it out you can read more about it and if you're interested um, I have some others on there for sale as well